So a kite has a couple other characteristics that we want to talk about. Um, and there's obviously a, different, uh, a couple different types of you know, kites that we're going to be dealing with, but there's some characteristics of kites. First of all, with kites, all right, um, when dealing with a kite, there's going to be at, um, at least two sets of sides that are going to be equal. Okay? They're not always opposite like they were. And there's no parallel sides either. Okay? So we don't have any more parallel sides. So the parallelism is out of the way. For it to be a kite, all we need to have, in basic reality, what we need to do is have the diagonals be perpendicular. Okay? So the diagonals are perpendicular. Are you writing this one down, Aja? Your diagonals are perpendicular, as well as you have two sets of congruent sides. And then also, another thing that's nice about kites is you're going to have at least one pair of opposite equal, um, opposite or congruent uh, angles. You guys can see that these two angles would not be congruent to each other. Here, why don't I do it like this? Maybe it makes a little more sense there, how these two are not the same, but these two are. You guys see that? So a kite is always going to have at least one pair of congruent sides with them. All right? Um, and that's really the base of the sides. Just notice, guys, since we have a right angle, right? They're perpendicular sides since we have the right angle. Therefore, what do you think is going to come to play on your uh, homework? Some theorem that starts with a P. Pythagorean. Pythagorean theorem. So think about it when you guys have it. Uh, when we go over this, and I can uh, I can go over a problem.